Hey friends, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. Happy Sunday. How is everybody? Let's see if I can, you wanna see my cute little truck here, my little Easter truck. Ah, how's everybody doing? Um, it is Sunday. Let me see if I can go up just a little bit there. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes my chair just starts going down, down, down. Um, Hope you're having a great day. It is Sunday all day long. Tomorrow is President's Day, but I think I'm going to have to do my Facebook Live in the morning at some time, at some point, because I have a hair appointment tomorrow at three o'clock. And normally on a holiday, I would do my Facebook Live at four o'clock, just like my weekend time, but it's not going to work. But I'm kind of thinking I might want to sleep in a little bit tomorrow. So um, we're going to play tomorrow by ear, okay? Is that okay with everybody? <laughs> All right, so I know a lot of you have already purchased these signs and you're waiting, waiting, waiting for me to go ahead and do the project. Um, so it's time. So this one says, hello spring. And this one says, hello spring. So they just happen to be the same. This one's a stander, it stands up. And it's got cute little butterflies and flowers on it. And this one has cute little butterflies and flowers and a bird. Oh, this has a bird on it too. I just didn't have my glasses on. So we're gonna be using the same colors. And I know some of you have bought both of those. And then also um, I've been getting messages. Hey, did you ever do your door, your door leaner, um, your porch leaner? Well, I finally did it today. So I wanna show you that. I have it right over here and it turned out super cute. It actually has the same type of letters as um, on here. There's little flowers on it. And I basically, I took I took these letters and I made the sign. So I did, I did the hello spring. I took that and I made it big and put it onto a porch sign. So let me grab that so I can show you. And you guys just say hello. Let me share this to VIP really quickly. And um, you guys just go ahead and say hello so that I know you're here. I know it is Sunday. We don't always have a ton of people on Sunday. That's okay. Um, there is always the replay, right? So hopefully, ho hopefully you guys are having a great day. I can't talk sometimes. Let's see. Share this to groups. Um, share this over to VIP group. Perfect. Got that. And my sharing group is gone. It's so weird. It is just the craziest thing. I used to have a sharing group on there and either they deleted me off of there or they closed their group. But um, anyways, so it's in the VIP group. Let me get the sign. Let me see if we can actually show it to you because it's a porch liner. So it turned out really cute though. I'm going to have to go, let's go really back so you can probably see most of it. Okay. All right, here we go. Let me grab it and I'm not going to paint off of the thing. <laughs> What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it through this way. Okay, so let me put it through this way. Look at how cute it is. It is super cute. Okay, I'm going to hold it up from back there, but I'm thinking it's going to be easier for me to just set it there and then go back around. I am dodging stuff that's on the floor. Yeah, I might have a few piles here and there, <laughs> but it turned out super cute. So I'll show you, let me show you without hitting anything. Let me show you the top. Okay, so you're not gonna be able to see the entire thing at one time. I'll take a picture. But hello, spring. Look at how cute it is. And let's see, I'm gonna go up to the ceiling. Hello, spring. <laughs> and I decided to go with a blue background. So it's kind of like a teal color, the background. So, um, and I, there's like flowers and butterflies. I'll take a picture. I'll put it by my front door and take a picture so that you can see everything <laughs> that's on it. <laughs> All right, so how's that? That's super cute. And the other side is the wall. This is the one from Hobby Lobby, okay? Remember, welcome. So the other, so this side said hello fall and I just painted over it. So these are the ones that I got from, from Hobby Lobby and they were on sale like 75% off or something like that. It was a really good price. <laughs> so anyways, um, pick up those signs when you can. When you can pick them up at the end of a season, just grab some because they make great, they make great porch liners that you can paint on the other side. I always leave the welcome side. So when it is not the season that's on the other side, like if I did one for Christmas, um, I want them to be able to flip it around and use the other side. When I sell them, 
I want them to be able to get the most of their money out of that purchase. So I would normally sell that for $40. And I actually spent on that, it was not that much. So I think it was $3 with, with the discount because at this time they were a lot less money. So it might have been $4. And then I, you know, did all the stuff on it. But I will sell that for $40 at my craft show and it's reversible. So you have the welcome and then you have the hello spring. <laughs> <laughs> and I do have a hoppy Easter one too that I'm I I have to make one for an order. So what I'll do, I'll make that up and I'll show you guys. And I know some of you have already purchased that. I just haven't done it yet. So I'm not going to have time to do all that. And there's not enough room here. But when you see it, you can figure it out. It's all the same colors that we're using for these signs. Basically, I'm using all the same colors. I'm seeing the same color family for all of the all of this stuff. So it all goes together. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, let me see who's here. If you just hopped on, um, we are doing some Hello Spring signs. We're doing two of them. Hi, Betty, how are you? Hi, Cindy. Hi, Karen Ross. Um, whatever you, yes, exactly, for sure. Um, hi, Tony. Hi. Hi, um, hi Mary Lee. <laughs> hi, Sandy. Hi, Darlene Barr. Hi, I'm Sandy Smith and Sandy Bullard. How are you? Hi, Carrie. Thank you. Um, you want to make one? Yes, they are so fun, aren't they? The the, the porcelainers, they are great. So um, if you, I mean, you can actually get the porch leaner at Hobby Lobby, but make sure you get on sale. Don't pay full price. And remember I showed you that two years ago, I got I got some of them um, during COVID and they were $39.99 for that sign and it said hello fall and it said welcome and so I got it at 75% off so then it was $10 okay now this last season um, they lowered them to $24.99 instead of $39.99 now they're $24.99 and so if they were 25% off um, that's a lot so maybe it was like five or six dollars but um, anyways yeah that was a really good price I might have even got it at 70 at 90% at off you know sometimes I get things really good prices if I hit it just right but I know there's people scoping it out and as soon as the 90% goes boom they're gone so um, so yeah, pick those up. They're great. I didn't even have to sand it. All I did was just paint um, two coats of the blue on the back side. It was orange. It covered up nicely. Yeah, so um, it takes a little bit to dry, but because it doesn't soak in, because um, the the orange was a solid, 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 like a, um, it was sealed. It was like a gloss. So anyways, guys, yeah, lots of fun. Hi, Deb, my sister. How are you? Hi, Christy. Hey, Sandra. Hi, Janine. Thanks, Sandra. Hi, Mary. Hi, Maria. Thanks for sprinkling. Um, you check Facebook. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yay. And you can always catch the replay. That's the great thing about it. Hi, Doris, my sister. Happy Sunday. Hey, Cynthia. Thanks for sprinkling. Okay. So we're going to do two little signs. The Hello Spring. You guys have been asking since a bunch of you already purchased it. So we're going to do these today. They have the same colors on each one. So it's going to be super easy for me to do. <laughs> Like the background's white, the background's white, and then we'll just go through all the all the letters, you know, and they'll be different colors. Each one's a different color. We're gonna use we're gonna use the same colors that we've been using. We have for the bird, we have open water, and then we have purple petal. We have co cotton candy, um, Hauser light green, crystal blue, and sunny day, and then of course black and white. And if I need other colors, I'll grab them. But I think that's gonna be okay. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to bring in my board and we'll get started with this. And we only need to paint one of these guys. So we'll put one all the way up here. How are you, Pam? Hello. Welcome. Thanks for, thanks for coming to the page to watch. I appreciate all your support, guys. I do. <laughs> all right, here we go. And like I said, tomorrow, I might just do it in the morning, but not super early. I'm kind of wanting to sleep in just a touch, you know. Um, I... <laughs> getting up on a holiday day I, I don't want to get up at 5 30 I just don't I think that I might sleep in until 7 and then do my Facebook live at 8 because I have my hair appointment I have to get my hair done before I leave on my little vacation so um I 
have that appointment that's at the time that I would be doing my, my thing. Um, oh, thanks, thanks for asking. Um, Dor Doris, do you want to tell them how you're doing? She's actually doing a little bit better. Let me go ahead and um, scoop this up. Yeah, she's actually been um, doing a little bit better. Went to a specialist and went to somebody that helped realign everything and do some other stuff. And she's actually feeling a little bit better as of the other day. I don't know today. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Oh, you're able to comment finally again. Oh, my goodness. That's, it's so silly when, when Facebook puts you in Facebook jail and won't let you comment. <laughs> <laughs> it happened to me once I, I was doing an event um, and I invited, invited, invited people and boom, I was in jail. <laughs> yep. Okay. So I'm going to do all my letters here. Spring. All right. I think we have enough room on here to do the circle. Maybe we, maybe we'll have to put the circle part just on another board. That would be fine. Okay. So there's hello. And then we have our flowers and we have our butterfly and we have our little bird. Okay, so um, there's that. Let's just do this. Let's just pull the things off of here and then out of Facebook jail. Yay! <laughs> Yay. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Okay, our butterfly for this one. That's it's pink. Okay, I'm going to have to look at I'm going to have to look at my cheat sheet because some of this stuff and I have to make sure that this side, this side is for my round. Okay, so I need to keep everything separate or I'm going to have a problem. You know, we don't want to have a problem. Okay, maybe I should put the bird up there. Okay. Um, so I took I took puppies for another walk today. They got to meet one of the neighbor dogs. And that was kind of fun. So our neighbor up the street has a poodle. And I grew up with poodles, so I know all about them. Sometimes they can be snippy. But this little poodle was not. This little poodle was nice as could be. So I thought that was that was great that um, it allowed them to sniff him, <laughs> and there wasn't a problem. Sometimes sometimes poodles can just be like. Rah, 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 rah. So um, yeah, I was really happy that it was a good altercation. It was a good not an altercation. It was a good meeting. Yeah. So oops, I just knocked the white over. Um, doing better. Thank you. Oh yes, yes. I know. We think about you all the time and wonder how you're doing because it is such a crazy thing just such a crazy thing um who who would think who would think this okay that sorry <laughs> that's a little noisy sorry about that um that my sister's head injury happened from walking through her house in her socks and she slipped and she smacked her head so hard on the door frame on the wall that she got a traumatic brain injury. Um, who would think that that would happen to somebody? I mean, that is just the craziest thing, you know, and yet it happens and it did happen. And she is having to deal with all of that. So it wasn't just a concussion. It was actually a traumatic brain injury, which is so much worse. And Lots, lots to have to deal with. Okay, we're doing white, obviously, obviously, and I got too much. So um, we need white up here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of my white up there because I got way too much for this first coat. I usually will put a really thin coat and I, when I squoze that, it, too much of it came out. Too much. So let me just get this smoothed out and then we'll move on to the other white. So white is our background. We'll do two coats of white. I usually don't do white. I usually do light buttermilk, but I think this looks really sharp against the the um, spring colors. Okay, I'm just going to set this down here on the floor and let that dry. So, hey, Karen Romanko, how are you? Hey, Karen West. Hi, Laura. Happy Sunday, guys. Hope your day is going well. What are you guys up to? Who, who did something fun? <laughs> who did something that I would be jealous that you did something fun? Because... My, my life is kind of boring most of the time. My life is just kind of, you know, I help, I help hubby hold up some pieces of wood. He's actually building a covered dog run. Okay, he calls it a patio. I'm like, well, we're not going to have a barbecue. <laughs> so I'm going to call it a covered dog run um, on the side of the house. So I had to help hold up the big, um, it's, I don't know, it's not a two by four. It was a lot bigger than that. It was like a two by eight, maybe, or two by 12, or it was, it was really heavy and it was 12 feet long. So 
um, up in the air on ladders. Yeah, us old people up on the air, up in the air on ladders, attaching it to the house. And then he's going to build the covered part um, so that when it's pouring rain, the dogs will have an area that's covered. And also it kind of protects them from other things too. So we do have owls here that can swoop down and grab your animals. We do have um, hawks that can do that. So it also can help protect them from that. So um, along the side of our house, um, not the entire length of the side of the house, but it's pretty long. It was, I don't know, two lengths of that. So 24 feet. So 24 feet was pretty long. So we had two of those and they're heavy. They're heavy suckers <laughs> to hold up there. Um, he would get one screw put in one side and then we'd have to get it level. And I was holding basically the entire weight of the board up level <laughs> while he's finding a stud <laughs> trying to get it screwed in. And oh my goodness, it sure showed me that my arms are not strong. My arms are not strong at all. <laughs> I was like, I was alternating back and forth because I just could not, I could not do it. <laughs> back and forth. Okay, I'm going to smooth this out now. I've got a coat of paint on here. Let's get it all smoothed out really nice. And then if I need to clean anything out of the centers, like there's some in there, um, I'm going to clean that. And then I'll look at messages in un momento, please, por favor. Okay, so let me find my little stylus. And I'm just going to clean that out. So if you have some paint in there, just grab a paper towel. And you can clean that out so that it doesn't get all gooky in there. And, yeah, so, oh, you started on your monthly kit yesterday. Yay! You got three of them done. Awesome! Woohoo! Um, you haven't had a good weekend. You have shingles. Oh, my goodness. That is not good. I'm so sorry. I, I hope I never get shingles. <laughs> I am praying. I am praying that I never get it because I tell you what, I've heard it's like the worst pain ever. Not fun. Laura just made dinner. Um, Deborah said, I'm late. I thought, um, I thought you were taking a couple days off. Oh, not from doing Facebook lives. No, um, I'm not. <laughs> I, ha I have to do a Facebook live every single day. So um, I'm taking a few days off from shipping. Um, let me see. I just... Um, let me just go back up here. Shall I say that's so sad? Your favorite restaurant is owned by a wonderful family that's been great friends. For the owner did the same thing, fell and hit her head. Oh, and passed away. I know. I know. Isn't it just so crazy? I worry about that too. So, um, well, I told. I think I've told you guys the story about that. So my my husband, um, he has a stepsister that lives up in Oregon. Okay, this has a lump in it, and I don't want to just push it and have it come out. There's a stepsister that lives in Oregon um, that her boyfriend, a few years ago, it's been probably a long time ago. My kids were little. My kids were tiny when this happened. Okay, so the hello um, on the round sign is going to be blue, okay? And the birds are blue. So let's go ahead and do that. Open water. Um, so they were in Vegas, and... Um, he, he fell somehow. Something happened. He fell and tripped backwards. Something happened and he hit his head and it caused an aneurysm and he died right there in the gift shop in Las Vegas. So um, I know I told you guys about that before. So I'm always worried about that. I am always worried that something crazy will happen when somebody hits their head that they won't know that they have a bleed in there. You know, it, it can, it can definitely happen. So anyway, so his stepsister's boyfriend that happened to him fell in the gift shop in Las Vegas when they were there just on a little vacation and he passed away right there in the store. And it was just the most terrible thing. And then because she was just his boyfriend, not his wife or anything like that, she had to try to figure out how am I going to get his body home and all of this. Well, then his dad came in <laughs> and his dad is like, um, I don't want you to have anything to do with him now. And he took over because she wasn't married. So then she had no rights. And it was just the craziest, craziest thing that that would happen. I just, oh my gosh, just so I get worried about that. Okay, this is going to be the blue. So this is open water, open water. Let me get a little bit more. Um, so hi, Denise, how are you? Hey, Carol, how are you? Hi, Barb. Hi, Trish. 
Hi, Denise. Did I say hi? <laughs> Sorry. I like scrolled up and I'm like, did I say hi? Um, yeah, crazy things can happen when you hit your head. And also, you know, you can have memory memory loss. You can It can affect your short-term memory. It can affect your ability to concentrate, to multitask. Um, and it can affect that for a while. So my sister's really lucky that her work is really, they're really being accommodating and helping her out while she is in her recovery. But she's working. That's the thing. She's working. Some people would just take that time off until they're all better, but she is working. So, um, okay. So let's see. That's open water. And then we need to do the letter R is going to be um, in that. So there's so there's little flowers engraved. You're not going to paint the flowers unless you really want to. You could, like Karen Mako probably would because <laughs> she just is that type to do that tiny detail. But you're just going to paint and the flowers are going to show through that. Okay. So you're going to be able to see that. Oops, not that flower. <laughs> you're going to be able to see the flowers through that. Okay. Next color is going to be the butterflies. So let me see here. We want purple butterflies. Um, I'm looking at my cheat sheet. Sorry. Purple butterfly on this one. And these are pink. Okay. So pink here, purple here. Okay. So let's just get out. Let's just get out our purple and we'll do all our purple stuff and then we'll do all our pink stuff. So um, purple. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Um, do you worry about paint on the edges? It really doesn't get on the edges um, when I when I just go across. Yeah, it do, it doesn't. So my edges, my edges don't have any paint on the on them. Once in a blue moon, I will. And honestly, I don't worry about it. Um, I'll wipe it off. I can use a Clorox wipe because the edges, the edges, it's laser cut. So paint is not going to stick to the edges. The paint will, um, will eventually come off. You don't want to have to paint your edges. So don't worry about painting the edges guys. <laughs> it's not, it's not going to stick anyways. It, it might stay like temporarily. And then at some point it'll start flaking off. Okay, so the purple is purple petal, and then S needs to be purple, and then what else? Let me look at my cheat sheet here. The flower is purple, so my little flower is purple. I'll get that. All right, and then over here, what is purple over here? Um, doo -doo -doo, sorry, um, the S. Let's do the S purple over here. All right. Okay, so that's our purple. Yeah, I don't worry about it going on the edges. If I got some down on the edge, I just take my stylus and go like that. I, I don't really, I just, I can't. <laughs> I cannot even worry about those little things. Okay, um, this hello is pink, and then we'll, we'll do all the other pink stuff too. So um, cotton candy is my pink that I'm using. You can use any colors, guys. You do not have to use the same colors that I use. You can use whatever color you think looks good in your house. So um, maybe you are just a black and white person that likes to just have things black and white. So <laughs> does that make sense, a black and white person? Maybe you like to decorate with just with just neutral colors, black and white or or earth tones. You can do whatever you want to do, honestly. You don't have to do the pastels. You could do bright colors. If you like bright colors, do bright colors. It's totally up to you, honestly. Um, you're the artist. You get to make the decisions. I just give you suggestions. And then I want each and every one of you guys to just go for it and do whatever, whatever it suits your fancy, right? <laughs> whatever suits your fancy. Okay. And that's what I do too. I kind of look at a guideline and then I'm like, well, I don't like the bright colors. I want everything to be pastel. And my little butterflies up here are going to be pink. And if you want to do an ombre, you totally can do an ombre on these. You don't have to just do a plain color. You can shade it. You can do whatever you want to do. We're going to do the bodies black. Okay, so let me just stand up. I got a little bit of paint in there. I'm just going to take my stylus and get that out right now. And put that onto a paper towel. All right, and then next. <laughs> what is next? Um, there goes my phone. My phone is just all day long telling me stuff. Okay, SPR. Um, the flower. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do the P. 
um, pink and then we'll do the flower pink okay so I want my flower here to be pink my great big oh my great big flower is pink too okay so this little flower right here on spring is pink and then this flower is pink also all right and then we'll go back over that the green will cover it up if you have a little oopsie there don't worry green will cover up over the pink okay so that's cotton candy now sometimes you'll have to do a second coat I'm going to kind of look at it and see if I need to do a second coat or smooth anything out. But right now, I'm just going to go with it like that. Okay, so next color, how about yellow? And we are going to use our sunny day. Sunny day. <laughs> I know, I love pastel too. Um, my posture trio um, of painted art. Oh, awesome. That's so cool. I bet it looks really good. Now, Mod Podging, I like Mod Podging to just um, iron it on. <laughs> I am not one to do Mod Podge and actually use the Mod Podge the way it's intended. I like to iron things on. <laughs> I kind of do the cheater way. Okay, now flowers, these are yellow. Okay, so the flowers are yellow. And then what over here is yellow? Something over here is going to be yellow. I'm going to do the N yellow. All right, so we do need to do something um, green and blue. Okay, so let's see. All right, this one we're going to do, we'll do this one, our crystal blue. Okay, so we'll get some of that on there. I'm trying to get it so they all match everything that we've already done. So everything just all kind of goes together. And I will, I'll show the, the porch sign again because some of you guys are just hopping on. I finished the, the big tall porch leaner. So um, I'll show you that. It looks really cute. I'm going to put it at my front door. And then when the craft show comes along, I'll be carrying it to the craft show. <laughs> and I guarantee you it'll sell because people love that kind of stuff. Okay, let's see here. I need to do the R. R. Okay, and then I think I will do the G, the, the green color. So green, 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 green. Okay, we're doing good. It really is a fast project. It doesn't take a lot of time. We'll put a second coat on our white, and then we'll look at everything. We'll do insides of these flowers. Um, what color should I do the inside? Maybe pink or purple? Pink or purple on those? You guys tell me what you want. <laughs> <laughs> using sealer for the paints and decoupage oh very nice very nice karen um i would love to see a picture of everything when you're done of course <laughs> i love when you guys share with me I, I like to see what you guys are making okay so um this is hauser light green and i'll go over all the colors again because some of you guys are just hopping on and I will go over all these colors. You can always catch the replay too. You can always go back and watch the replay. Replays are always there for you. And you can fast forward through them if you go, I don't want to watch that whole thing. I don't want to listen to her talk. Put me on mute and do the 2x so it goes twice as fast. You don't have to, you don't have to listen to everything. You can listen to me talk really fast. It probably would just be like on one of my days that I've had two cups of coffee instead of one in the morning. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. Okay. Um, we do have to do the beaks on our birdies. We have to do their eyeballs. And we'll do a second coat on the white. Purple. Purple flower. Perfect. Perfect. I think a purple center would be perfect. <laughs> perfect. Oh my gosh, guys. We almost... we. We thought last night, okay, so someone, people are sending me things all the time. Is this Chloe? Is this Chloe? Is this Chloe? Last night, there was one that was so close, you guys. And I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, and this was like an hour away from here. But it was by an area where they actually, there's other sand dunes. So I was like, well, it could, could be. The person could have got her in their trailer and got home and then they went to other sand dunes. So um, this person sent me a picture of, of, of the puppy, the back of the puppy. And they're like, um, here's the back end and the back tail was dark brown. And I'm like, oh, it's not my Chloe because my Chloe, my Chloe has um, a white tail. And I was like, oh, but the face, the face, um, it was the closest that we've gotten so far. So I was like, oh gosh, why can't it just be her? 
it was a little bit it was a little depressing you know honestly because you think gosh is it her is it gonna be her and it was just it was so close guys I just it was a little sad it was a little sad so um okay I'm gonna dry before I do my second coat and before I do the centers I need to do the butterfly part I need to do my beaks so let's just dry and we also need to dry, remember we did the round part. The round part is down here on the floor. Okay, so let's make sure we dry this because <laughs> we'll need to put a second coat on this also. So this, we're doing a standard. This says hello string and we're doing a sign. Okay, so I figure, hey, we're using all the same colors. We're gonna do two and one. And I can see that there's a few little lumps on here from the paint. My white paint is, um, it's a cheaper paint that I got on sale. So I'm going to make sure that I get all of those off. I'm just going to sand it lightly is what I'll do to get, to get that off. But, um, you know, we're just continually looking and searching for, for Miss Chloe. We're not going to give up. You know, we, I'm going to touch that up right there. We are not giving up because I guarantee you she's out there somewhere. And now i got blue on that. <laughs> she, all right, she is out there somewhere. Okay, she's probably with a family that just doesn't know that she has another home. And right now they're just feeding her all the goodies that they can and loving on her. And then when they find out that she has another home, then maybe they'll give her back. Maybe they won't. Maybe we won't get her back. But my heart tells me that she's out there and that she's with another family. So that's what my heart tells me. So that's what I'm going with. I'm usually pretty on, uh, you know, I pr I'm pretty good about those things. You know, I'm pretty good with, when I have a gut feeling about something, um, yeah, I'm, pre I'm pretty on with that. So, okay, let's put a second coat on this. And we will keep going. Keep going. Okay, here's my white. One of these days it'll be gone. $1.49, guys, for this whole bottle. <laughs> That's why there's a few lumps in it. Yep. A dollar forty nine for that. Okay, that's probably way too much. We're just gonna get it all spread out. <laughs> Let's go around the edges. We don't want it to be all globby. That's probably enough for both. I probably actually can paint this also, the top one with that. So yeah, there's a lot of little lumps in it. <laughs> but I think that's I think it's because it was old paint. That's why it was a dollar forty nine. Yeah. But um, I'll take it, I'll take it and I'll deal with just the little lumps and bumps and we'll just sand it a little bit, get all that off of there before we put anything onto our sign. Okay, I think I can do this whole thing <laughs> and just get all this. We want a second coat on here. So I'm just going to quickly do that and we'll move this down. I think what I have on my brush and what's on here is enough for this whole thing. I think, I think... What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you think? Oh my goodness. So, so we're just, another thing that I'm going to do is I know that if Chloe is with the family that pretty soon she's going to need to get groomed. Okay. Cause, cause Marley needs to get groomed. Marley's getting a little shaggy. So I'm going to reach out to all of the groomers that are in California, Nevada, and Arizona. Um, I'm going to be sending out texts and emails and whatever I need to do, contact them through their Facebook pages. There, There's a Facebook page that has like, I don't know, 100,000 people, <laughs> something like that. So I'm going to reach out that way and make sure that they have her picture. So um, yeah, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up, guys. Hi, Shelly, how are you? Okay, let's try this. And I'm gonna kind of lightly sand it. There's a few lumps. <laughs> <laughs> that white was not the best, but it'll work. It will work. Yeah. My sander. Look at my sander. My sander has stuff on it. Hmm. I might have to just sand it with a paper towel because my sander has stuff on the bottom. I need a new piece of little um, sandpaper. <laughs> so, hey guys, what are you doing tomorrow? Do you, do you guys have to work? Who, ha who has tomorrow off? I know a lot of you guys are retired, so you have every day off. I'm really jealous of that. Someday, someday I will be. 
but not for a few more years. I think I have like four years left. I think it, I think we're at about four years. So yeah, yeah, I think it's smart, Mary Lee. So I've already been contacting the vets and all of that, but they don't routinely scan. So I, I paid I paid a service to do all that for me, um, but I can do the other. I can I can actually print out a list of all the phone numbers and I can text them or call them or fax them or email them. So um, that's going to be the next thing because at some point she's going to have to go get groomed. So, um, okay, that white, it takes a little bit to dry. Okay, there are some lumps on there. I'm going to grab a paper towel and I'm going to just try to do it that way because my sandpaper is not the best. It has blue on it from sanding something else. I need to switch it out. Okay, and then it's still, it's still a little bit wet. Let's just dry it just a touch more. Let's just dry it just a touch more. I can see that it's still not dry all the way. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do a little bit more. Make sure it's completely 100% dry. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I have tomorrow off. Yay! And the next and the next and so on. <laughs> family day in Canada. Oh, really? Family day, that's awesome. You wish that you have to work. Oh, darn. You're off. You had Friday off, too. That's awesome, Mary Lee. Um, I think some of the schools here had Friday off, but my, my grandkids had to go to school on Friday. So I think they did. I think they did. Anyways, um, Tara has tomorrow off because there's no mail going out. And I said, you know what? Spend the time with the kids because when I'm gone, you are going to need to do more work. <laughs> you're going to have to come back because we can't get all of our wedding orders done just during the time that she's here. She's going to have to come back at night and do a few more hours. Um, it's just that way, unfortunately. Because <laughs> otherwise we'll get behind on wedding orders. And brides are not forgiving like you guys. You guys are forgiving, but brides are not. Okay, so we need to do our flowers and we need to do our butterflies. Let's just scooch this up and let's um, let's bring those all down here. So we need those and then we need our birdies. Okay, and here's these butterflies. Okay, so the butterflies, they need to have black on them. That just scoops that up just a little bit more. I'm gonna get a another little dish for some black for the body on the um, butterflies and also the eyeballs. So eyeballs need to have black. So we're using exactly the same colors that we've used for all our other stuff. So everything will match. Okay. okay, I need to get a little bit of purple. You guys said you wanted me to do purple in the center of the flowers. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a paintbrush and I'm going to just use the end of the paintbrush to do this. And I got the hiccups. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I got the hiccups. <laughs> You're off seven days a week and still don't get anything. Oh my gosh. Can you tell me what how to get to your shop? Yes, let me um, let me just put the link right here. Okay. Um, it's super easy. The shop is our Shopify. Um, that is the one that, this is the one where the wood cutouts are. The other one is, you'll have to ask, you'll have to send me a message. I don't have the quick link for that, but this is the Shopify one where all these cutouts are. Um, the one where our wedding stuff is, that's Etsy. And we, we stopped selling most of the wood stuff on Etsy because we get charged up to 30%, which is crazy. <laughs> That's a crazy amount. Okay, I'm going to put it back up here to dry because I don't want to have it fly around. So so that's the that's the one for the cutout. Now, if you want the one for uh, the wedding stuff, I will I can send that to you privately. I just don't have the link right there. So for some reason, for some reason I don't have it. Um there's still one little bird. Oh, oh no, those are the wings. Those are the, those are the wings. <laughs> but thank you yeah um th those are my little wings but they look like birds they certainly do look like little birds thank you for thank you for saying that though because what if what if what if <laughs> they do they're the same shape as a bird okay so those are those are the wings here i'm going to do the beaks i'm just going to use a stylus okay so i am just using a stylus to do the little beak and then i'll use a stylus to do the eyeball Okay, I'll get a brush to do the center of the butterflies. Okay, these are, this is exactly how I painted the, the front porch sign, the porch liner. It's exactly how I painted it. So 
Um, same colors, same everything, basically. I, I, I just blew up this and created a front porch sign because I just wanted to have one. Okay, there's the bird. There's a bird. And here's a bird. I just want it to be up here on this so that it doesn't blow away when I go to um, dry it with the heat gun. Okay, because if I, if I don't have it on tape, it's going to blow all over the place. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yep, you're right. It is the wing. But it could have looked like it totally... So I appreciate it. You guys are always... Um, yeah, I appreciate you helping me because sometimes I do forget those things. So anytime that you feel like, hey, you forgot this, just tell me. Because and there's so many times, sometimes sometimes I will go to, okay, I'm just using block on here. Um, sometimes I will go to finish it out and I'm like, oh, I forgot to do that. <laughs> like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to speckle these because I think they're going to look really sharp just being um, the bright or the pastel colors. Let's move this so that we have more room right here. Be really careful with these thin letters that you don't break it. Otherwise, you're going to have to be gluing it together. Okay, we're going to put that butterfly there. And I'm just using a little brush. It's just a small little angle brush. It's a tiny angle brush. Okay, and I'm just doing um, the center part of the butterfly, the bo basically the body um, part, like where it's, its body, its head, um, its antennas. I don't know what that bottom part is called. Somebody knows. Somebody knows what it is, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing that. That part. <laughs> and then we'll dry. We'll dry. And then I do want to ink everything. Um, I want it to be consistent with the other stuff that we did. And we did ink all the edges on everything else. So we're going to ink everything on this. I'm trying not to have it, it be really thick because I want this all to dry. Okay, there's my little butterfly. The, these here, I'll give you the link for all this. Um, the direct link that's easy to find. I have a lot of black left. Guys, I don't like to waste paint like that. <laughs> I'm going to put it back in here because that's, that's quite a bit of black. So I'm just going to put it right back in there. Do any of you guys do that or do you just throw it away? Because, I mean, there's times when I just toss it, but, but that's a lot of black. I don't, I don't like to be wasteful. <laughs> I try not to be wasteful. Okay, we're going to dry that. I think that's all the details. And then we'll ink. Okay, so um, let's just scooch it down. And we will dry, dry, dry. And then we will start to ink everything. And we will glue together. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Is there a video for this spring letter sign? Uh, for this for this sign? Um, which spring letter sign? Um, are you talking about the porch sign? The one that I showed you, the porcelainer, um, there's not. It's the same exact thing as this. Um, is that what you mean? The spring word. It, what I'm doing right now is what I did for the porch cleaner. It's exactly, it's exactly painting just like this. And then I just um, put it onto the porch sign. Is that what we're talking about? Put it back. Yeah, otherwise... I know, I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste. Just tell me if that's what you're talking about. <laughs> Honey, I'm not I'm not sure if that's what you mean. But um the port sign that I showed you earlier. I have I have the port sign. I'll show you it here in a second. Um are we dry? <laughs> As a piece of something goes flying. What is that? <laughs> like a hair with that had something on it. Okay. Um are we dry? Um, I think it's dry. Okay. All right. Pretty dry. All right. The one um, like Easter Valentine bloom. Yes. Yes. There are, there are um, videos on here for all of those, all of those. Yep. So do, you just go to the page and just, you can just scroll through the videos. Okay. Let me find, let me find the direct link for these, um, for the Easter stuff so that you have the Easter page so that it's easy for you to go to. And it will just give you all the Easter stuff. Um, share the collection. Perfect. And then I'll just pop that right in there. And that will just make it easy. You don't have to search for anything. That is the entire collection of all of the Easter stuff. Okay, so there's that. All right, perfect. All right, let me show you the sign again because some of you guys are just popping on. I have the port sign that I made. You can't see the whole thing because it's so big. I used the ones from Hobby Lobby. Okay. So let me just pop you up to myself for, for a moment. And then let's go small like this. There we go. Okay, so hello, spring. <laughs> 
there we go. So, so this is the porch leaner. Remember I asked you what color should I paint it? And I decided to paint it a teal color, the background. All these letters are the same ones that are on this little sign and I just enlarged them. So, so this is my porch leaner and it's from Hobby Lobby. It says, it said hello fall and I painted over it, painted over the hello fall. And then the other side says, welcome. <laughs> so anyways, anyways, so that was, that was my project. I did that today. All right, now we can go back down and let's, oops, I don't want that to fall over. <laughs> okay, we're going to ink everything. So we need to pull everything off of here. I know, isn't it cute? It is so fun. I love it. I love it. It is, oops, wrong way. <laughs> Darlene, sometimes I am such a dork. Um, there's that. And then... Let me put myself in the corner. Oh, come on. Will you please cooperate? Third time's a charm. There we go. Okay, I'm here. Okay, let's get all this stuff off of here. And we want to lay it out and make sure that it looks right. And then we can ink the edges because I always like to kind of pre-assemble it to make sure that everything is going to look okay on there, that I didn't mess anything up because you know I might. <laughs> you know it's very possible that Darlene could mess something up. Okay, so hello spring. And then we have our bird. Which one goes here? Um, is it that one? Or is that one too big? I think it's the smaller one. The smaller one goes there. Okay, it's just barely smaller. And then we have um, this butterfly, okay? And then we have two flowers. Okay, so this is what this is going to look like, right like that. Um, where, where do we want to put that? I actually, okay, I guess it's gonna go right there. Okay, so perfect. That's like that. So that's the Hello Spring and it stands. Okay, so it's gonna go into this stand right here. I'm going to glue this together. We'll glue that together first. Okay. And then this stuff goes onto the round sign, which where did I put it? You guys, oh, it's over here. I'm like, where, what I do with that? Okay. Here's the round sign. So this goes here. I'm going to stand up and just assemble this. This all goes here. Hello spring. S P R I N G. Okay. And then we have two butterflies. Okay. I'm looking at this. I think these butterflies should have been different colors because look at my flower or my flower needs to be a different color. Okay. So there's too much pink. Maybe let's see. I can't swap it out with the other. Um, maybe just this butterfly needs to be a different color, right? I think just this butterfly. So, um, because it's on, I think that I just need to do this butterfly purple. Do you think? I think so. Um, or what color would you do it? And this, this birdie goes down here and there is a little spacer. So there's a, when you see a spacer, a spacer is something like this. It has an X on it that you don't paint. Okay. What is the name on the back of it? You said teal. Um, you said teal what? Uh, this, oh, the teal. Oh, I have to look. It was actually a great big bottle. It was a bottle like this that I had. So I'll look and see. It was actually this brand too. So I'll look and see what it is. Um, I will look and I'll tell you. It was just, it was one of those that I just had a whole bunch. I think I need to paint that purple because that's too much paint. Okay, but everything else looks good. Let me get the wing. Um, we're gonna paint that little butterfly purple. See, that is why we do this. We kind of fit it together before we start gluing because we can make changes, okay? So, um, all right, so let's get let's get our purple out. Yeah, I think purple too. <laughs> it just you know what? It's one of those things you just don't know sometimes until you start to put it together. And I have a little brush here. It's really easy to fix. It's not it's not the end of the world. Um, it it will paint over really easily. The the pink I can paint over are super easy, and then we'll dry it and it will be done. It's it's not no big deal to have to do that. I'm going to use a small brush though because I do have to work around the black part of the body. So not a big deal, guys. Um, it's not the first time, right? It's not the first time I've had to do that. So if you're painting along with this, you'll probably have to do the same thing because you'll probably paint it that color also. <laughs> 
try to remember that. If you're painting along with this when you go to get your kit, remember that I changed the color of, of that butterfly. <laughs> All right, so no big deal. We're okay. Don't sweat the small stuff. And it is all small stuff, guys, in life. It really is. Um, there's there's very few things in life that you should stress over. Very few things. I, I The only thing I have in my life that I stress over at the moment is Miss Chloe. So, um, yeah, I'm determined. I'm determined to, to bring her home. <laughs> I will do everything in my power. Once I have exhausted every single avenue... Then I might then I might just sit back and wait. I actually saw a post of a dog that was out of the desert and was recovered after 40 days of being out there. And this was their the three-year anniversary of that dog being recovered. And I thought, wow, wow, that could be Chloe. Um, how how close uh, butterfly to S in spring? Um, I'm not sure it's how close is the butterfly to the S in spring? Um, not that close. Um, it actually, yeah, I know <laughs> that's a concern too. It will be fine. It, it'll be, it's going to be down on the stem. So, but I don't have to put it there, guys. I can do whatever I want. If I want to put it somewhere else, I can totally, I can totally put it somewhere else. So, um, I could put it up on the flower. I kind of like it on the flower instead of on the stem. I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking it on the flower. Um, they have. They have it on the stem, but I kind of like it on the flower because my butterflies probably would be on the flower. Okay, let's let's ink everything. Let's start gluing. Yeah, the S is purple. Um, purple okay. Yeah, no, I, I totally get that. Um, it, I, it should be fine though. <laughs> I yeah, I think it's okay like that because if I put if I put the butterfly right there on the flower, I think we're still okay. Yeah. All right. And we're not gonna we're not gonna um, do oops look at so if you do that and you have too much on there guess what it's water soluble grab your little grab your little Clorox wipe okay I got too much ink on that corner I'm just gonna take my Clorox wipe and I'm gonna wipe some of that off I'm gonna just wipe that off and then I'll just re ink it so um, yeah that's that easy I made an oopsie. Okay, let's let's glue this together so it can start drying. Make sure that you have it lined up. Sometimes you might have to flip it because it might not be completely centered. This is your video of the spring stand-up sign. Oh, perfect that you've been looking for. Yay, I'm so happy. Okay, perfect. Glad. Yeah, I hadn't done it yet. <laughs> I didn't I thought you were asking about the door, um, the door leaner, the ports leaner. Because I, I remember you asking, and I was like, I wonder if she means the porch cleaner. But I got the porch cleaner done today. So I will take a picture of that. Okay, here's here's this. If you want to do anything extra on there, um, you you certainly can. Like, you can you can do white on it. I'm not going to. So so mine is just, it's a little bit different than, than the sample was. Because the sample was um, a friend's. Okay, so sometimes, I can, sometimes I'm able to put someone else's pictures up there. And, um, and then paint it at my leisure. It's, I don't always have time to do everything. I try really hard to do it all. But like I've said before, I am just human. And, you know, sometimes we just, sometimes we just can't do it all. Okay, so we're going to glue this one together first. I'm just going to kind of ink around my edges. If you want to use colored crayons, they have, they have crayons that you can use that are like the same same colors or like in the color family. So you would use a bright pink to go around this. You can totally do that. I like to just use my ink pad. That's the look that my customers love. That look, it just kind of gives it a little bit of a grungy look in a way. Um, it gives it some detail. I'm gonna go around every letter and then I'll go around the outside of the, the white. So basically you put it together and then you take it apart and ink it, okay? so. <laughs> yeah, so it's okay though, because you want to put it together because you want to see what it looks like. And then I'm going to do the center of this with a Q-tip. Okay, so I'm going to grab a Q-tip that I have right here, and I'm going to dab, dab, dab in my ink, and I'm just going to do the center of that just a little bit. Okay, does that make sense? Can I go in a little bit so you can see better? Um, I'm just going around it with the Q-tip just to give it a little bit of dimension with that. All right, just kind of shades it. And I'll do this one while I'm at it too. So the center of that, any area that's hard to get to, you can totally use this 
a Q-tip. A Q-tip works. You just dab, dab, dab in your ink and then just um, kind of go around the edges. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And we'll just keep going. So I hope you guys are going to have a good day tomorrow. Oh my gosh. You know, another day off for some people is just, you, we just live for that. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing my bookkeeping. I'm going to be working on some um, Easter projects for my craft shows. I, I have craft shows coming up as soon as I get back. And I know somebody asked me to post them. I will post, I'll post them. One of them is one I'm in charge of. And so I have to have all my ducks in a row. Yeah, my ducks are still quacking right now. My ducks aren't, my ducks aren't quite in a row. They're trying. My ducks are trying really hard to be in a row. And I need to get my, where's my Clorox swipe again? I got a little bit extra there that I really don't want on there. Um, yeah, you know, I, I still have a lot of stuff to do to get ready for my show, but um, it will all work out. It always does. Okay, there's that. Okay, um, what's next? What's next? Oh, actually, I need to go around the top part. I want to go right here and right here with that. Okay, and then my N, and then we'll start, we'll glue this one together, and then we'll do the other sign. Okay, so that way this one can start be drying and we can put it into the stand and stand it up. Okay, and the other one's a hanger. It's going to hang. So the other one you can hang it on the little um, stand thing or hang it on your door. It's small. It's not It's not one that's big like for a, like, you can put it in a wreath. Okay, so it's not a great big sign, um, but it will look cute hanging with all your collection of all your spring stuff. I can't wait to do my craft show and have all my spring stuff there. It's going to be so cute. I'm so excited. I love getting all this stuff out and just making a little um, area with all my with all of my spring and my Easter. I did that at, at Christmas time. I had all my Christmas and it was so much fun. Okay, let's see. Where's my Clark swipe? I'm having some little oopsies today. Okay, and then I'm going to go around this, the outside of this, and then we'll be ready. <laughs> And you don't have to do this. If you don't want to do any ink, you don't have to. You totally can just do it. It's not It's not a big deal. You can just glue it all together. You don't have to do this part. Um, you are the artist. You get to make those decisions. You know what you like and you know what your customer likes. And if you're doing it for a gift, you know what your person likes. So um, totally up to you. You can skip this part if you want to. I just like to quickly go around it and get some ink on there. And I'll usually put some like in the center parts and um, the letters are going to go over that. So it's going to be fine. It's I'm just kind of dabbing some on there. Just dabbing a little bit in there in the center parts. And there we go. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to start gluing. So we'll glue this one and then we'll ink the next one. That way this one can be drying. I just like to use Ellen's Tacky Glue. It works for me. If you like other glue and that's what works best for you, don't switch. Okay. You don't have to do what I do just because I, you think that it might work better. Um, unless you're struggling. If you're struggling with your glue, then try this out because it honestly, it's, it works perfectly for me. I have not had any failures with it. <laughs> There's some glues that like some of the super glues are not super because they don't last forever. I'm going to stand up so I can get this even on here. Hello. Hello. There we go. Okay. And then we have our little birdie is right over here. And I like this also because you can move stuff. Okay. So what if you make a mistake? What if I get my letters mixed up? I could pull it off. I could take a Clorox wipe, wipe off the glue, and I could start over. <laughs> So if you do that with super glue, it's it's not coming off. You're going to be breaking that letter. It's going to be broken too. Okay, this, you might have to kind of test it out. Make sure your S is not upside down when you go to put it on. That would be the wrong way. Okay, this is the right way. Okay, perfect. Just like that. S. Okay, and then our P. You don't have to put glue all over the whole thing. Okay, just put it in a couple of areas. It is absolutely fine. And um, if you make sure you sprinkle, if you have not, and I shouldn't say the word, <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. Anyways, if you would love to share this with a friend that likes um, crafting, I would love if you would do that because we like to grow our page and have more people on here that love to craft because that's what it's all about. I like being able to teach people how to do this and how to bring joy into their life because guess what? 
<laughs> There's too much ugliness in the world. We need to bring joy into our lives and into others. So if you sprinkle, let me know so that you can get in on that sprinkle drawing. And um, I sent out a ton of sprinkle gifts in yesterday's mail. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of happy people. I promise. Okay, let's see. That's going to go right there. There's, yeah, a lot of, lot of happy people. <laughs> it's so funny because I had a ton of things. And um, I can't tell you what some of them are because, you know, I'm not supposed to give away chocolate tour stuff and tell you about it. But I can, I can give it away, but I can't tell you that I'm going to give it away. But there's some people that got some really cool stuff. Yeah, you're going to be happy when you open your package and it has a little sticker that says happy mail. Oh, yeah, you're going to be you're going to be happy. <laughs> it's going to do what it is. Well, it was intended to for. OK, look how cute that is. That is so cute. Oh, my gosh. You never used Aline's until you watched me. Yeah, it is really great. I love Aline's. It works perfectly. OK, I'm going to just put this up here for now for a moment while we do this. We're going to we're going to glue all of this. Yeah, Allie, Allie's has been my go-to forever. I don't even know how long. <laughs> I can't even tell you. It's just been a very, very long time that I've used theirs. Um, probably for, I don't know, maybe 30 plus years. Has it been a lot around that long? I know, I know that I've used it since it probably is even longer than that. I'll have to go back and see what is the history. <laughs> how long has it been around? Because I, th I swear we used it when we, when we did our... Um, our personalized ornaments that we we did um, wholesale, we used it then, and it works. It holds up. <laughs> I never had any problems over the years. Okay, I'm gonna do some little line work on here with this. I'm gonna just go along this little score line to get a little dimension on that. Okay, perfect. There's my flower, and then we're gonna do our birdie. I know I love all the colors too. These are sprinkling guys. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Go back and watch the replay so you can see everything. Perfect. And the kits are available. So um, these have been on there. The, I, I just didn't have time yet. Okay, I got too much on his beak. So like I said, you can wipe it off. <laughs> it's like, you don't want to have a brown beak. You want to see part of that. You want to see part of it. So I just barely do the tip of it. All right, there's that. There's that. And then the grass, I just usually go along there. And then I'll just do, like, I'll just kind of go along the tips just a little bit. And this is a spacer. Like I said, any the ones that have an X on it, that means don't paint me. I'm a spacer. I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold the space. I'm just going to lightly do these letters. A lot of times I don't even do the letters, but I'm just going to put a little bit. Okay, I'm not going to go on the insides of them. I'm not going to get really crazy. I'm just putting a little here and there. If you want to skip this part, you totally can skip this. You don't have to, you don't have to do this part. I'm just doing just a touch here and there. Okay. And then, um, then we'll do the flower and the hello. And we'll do the outside of the sign. Okay. So definitely do the outside of the sign because it is way too white, but it looks really good with this. I, a lot of times I'll do light buttermilk, but I really like the bright, like the bright white like that. I like that with all these spring colors. I think it looks super cute. Okay. And then just a little bit, be careful with this. They are fragile. You'll just be gluing it back together. If you, if you happen to break it, oopsie. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oops. I'm going to show you that it comes off. <laughs> it jumped out of my hand. Okay. So grab your Clorox wipes. Clorox wipes are your friends. And it's just going to come right off. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Even off of white. Perfect, right? So Clorox wipes are good for so many things, guys. Okay, and then I'm going to go around the whole edge of this. And I'm going to go pretty wide. I want to go pretty thick on this. So that just means I hold it down at a, more of an angle. Okay. All right, so then, see, there's scoring. So the great thing about this is you don't have to think about where it goes. See, there's scoring there. Uh, can you see the scoring? Let me go a little bit closer. There you go, right there. I think you can see it. You can see the lines. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I can see the lines. Anyways, there are lines for you to line all of this up. Okay. Look up and it said it came out in 1950. Oh, my goodness. So it has been around forever. Holy cow. So I probably used it in high school. 
<laughs> I wasn't in high school in 1950, but um, I, I don't remember using any other glue ever. I, I remember using this all the time forever. I mean, when I was a kid, I remember using it. But then I was like, did I really? Did I really? Because, you know, we used Elmer's glue, but Elmer's glue is not good for stuff like this. And wood glue is not good for, for craft projects, honestly, unless you're do, gluing a, a birdhouse together. If you're gluing a birdhouse together, then absolutely use wood glue. But um, craft stuff like this, you can just use the Allen's Tacky Glue. Okay, so we got that in place. Let's do our hello. Hello. Hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Alrighty. Super cute. I love it. And see, I can put this up behind me. This will be good because I need something behind me. <laughs> and then this was going to go over here. This just goes over to the side. You don't need to put glue on the whole thing. Like I'm just putting glue right there. And then on each of those, and I'm going to put it just like that. And then this butterfly is going to be on the flower right there. So put glue in the center and then right there, just like that. My little bird is down at the bottom. Um, I have the spacer. So the spacer is going to help hold that bird up. Okay, so the spacer just goes right there. And then my little bird just kind of sits right in there, right like that at the bottom. And then here's his wing. And then we'll put all the little... The little letters see how easy it is it really is just step by step okay so just paint it and then um, ink it if you want to if you don't want to you don't have to honestly it, it doesn't it's not gonna look bad I don't always ink everything okay sometimes I just assemble it and sometimes I will speckle it I don't want to speckle this because I don't think I speckled the other stuff I don't think I did I don't remember <laughs> but I don't think that I did I'm, I'm kind of, if I did, then I'll go ahead and I'll speckle it. S-P-R-I-N-G. And if you want to do a, <clears throat> excuse me, a bow at the top, you can. I think the end is the same up, upside down and right side up. Um, you don't have to do a bow, but if you want to, you totally can. I, I'm just doing jute, okay? I am not a bow person. If you're a bow person, then go for the bow. <laughs> I'm going to put the lid on that and for a second there and then there's our G. Now I'm going to take my stylus and I'm going to see if there's anything I need to clean up because there might be. <laughs> I, I love all these projects. They are so much fun, guys. I love it. And I did, I did get one recorded for when I'm gone. You're going to love it. Okay, just making sure that everything is straight. It's kind of hard for me to tell. My lighting's not the best. <laughs> Okay, that looks good. That looks good like that. Okay, I love it. You go ahead and put the jute in. Super easy, guys. You're gonna take your jute. You're gonna tie a knot in one end, and then you're gonna put, you're gonna thread it through there. Okay. I have scissors here. I'll cut off. Um, I tied a knot, and I'm gonna cut it down a little bit closer like that. And then I'm gonna just thread this through. And I'll pull it back up the other side. All right. So sometimes you have to twist that, that the jute will kind of splay out and might fray. Um, just go ahead and pull that through. And then this will probably actually do too. I, I did a lot. Um, you will see a lot of times I'll give you a big piece and you're like, I don't need that whole thing. Well, use it for something else. Okay. Um, twist, twist, twist. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta twist it, twist and shout. Okay, there we go. Then figure out how long does it need to be. It really doesn't need to be any longer than that, okay? Just needs to be short. Tie your knot and then trim that down, okay? So just tie your knot tight and then trim it down. The holes are small, so you don't have to do a double knot on this one. Sometimes the holes end up being bigger and you have to do a double knot. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Okay, that's probably enough for a second one. All right, so there's that. That one's all done. And then we have this. We're gonna we're gonna glue this in. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna plug in my hot glue gun. I will I will do that later, but I'll plug it in now because what I do after this, I upload the video, and while it's uploading, I can um I can glue that part. Okay, so this is gonna go in here. I always make sure that it actually fits first, okay? <laughs> 
<laughs> because what if it didn't fit in the slot and then you've got glue in there already okay so what once upon a blue moon i might have gotten some paint along the side and so it would make it tight and i'd have to sand that so thank you dab i love the colors too i think they're super cute okay so i'm going to put some glue just know the glue is probably going to go through underneath so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna actually put it on the back side. Let's do that. Let's put it on the back side so that it doesn't go to the front. And then we'll fit it down in there. It's probably going to go out a little bit. We'll take a paper towel and we'll wipe it off. Okay, so um, what I'll do is, I actually can take a little Q-tip. Let's grab a Q-tip. Okay, so I just fit it down in there and then there's, there's some glue right there, okay? I'm just gonna go along there and get that glue off. And then we're gonna run a bead of hot glue there when that dries, okay? So um, the glue is down inside, but also, oops, <laughs> my flower just moved on the front. Um, let me go ahead and wipe that off again. Let me just grab a paper towel and wipe that off. I'm gonna put hot glue there to hold it straight, okay? Because sometimes, sometimes it might lean and you really don't want it to lean, you want it to be straight up and down. So if I run a bead of hot glue right here, then it will hold it and it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, let me put you up to myself. <laughs> I think these are super cute too. Thank you so much, guys. Let me go in a little bit closer. There we go. And then I brought my stand so I can show you what that looks like on the stand. Okay, so this is the, this is the large stand. So if you don't want to put a hole in your wall, you can just use these stands. These stands are great. It's super cute like that. It would just it would just go like that um, next to it. Oops. <laughs> I'm trying to get it. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. <laughs> you know, when it when it's reversed when you're looking. Okay, so let me just <laughs> there we go. What do you think? Which one's your favorite? I like them both. I think they're both super cute. I like the stander. I, I think I think the little stander is really cute like that. Um, that's what it's called. It's called the spring, the Hello Spring Sander. I call it a stander because it stands. And then this is the Hello Hello Spring door sign. Um, but I, I just, I think they're both cute. <laughs> Uh, okay guys i'm gonna go i'm gonna i'm gonna upload this i upload everything um uh, put it back otherwise you oh i'm sorry i'm reading a comment that was a while a while ago if you love it give me some hearts please i would love some hearts and if you if you didn't sprinkle already go ahead and do that um i'm gonna give myself hearts hearts are at the bottom so hard to write down here where the comments are you can see it might has a little face on it so thank you guys thanks I love them too. They'll go really good with everything else that we've been making. We've been making all the spring stuff. You know, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to do all that, that kind of things. And it also goes with the Easter stuff, but with all the Easter colors. But we will be doing a spring insert. Okay, so wait for that. It will be coming, but it's not here yet. So we just did the Easter one, so give me some time. I do have the, um, some St. Patrick's Day ones already posted. I just haven't done the samples yet. Maybe that will be one of my videos that I do for you guys so that you'll know how to paint that. I know you, you guys always like to know all those things. So maybe that will be one of the videos that I do when um, I have to pre-record things for when I'm gone. <laughs> I know because I don't want to miss a day of, of giving you guys good content. <laughs> All right. Thanks for being here, guys. This was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you tomorrow. Like I said, it'll be in the morning, but it's not going to be at the 630 a.m. I'm going to sleep in just a touch and then I'll do um, a little tutorial because I will be gone in the afternoon and I go get this mess taken care of <laughs> so that I look decent for my vacation. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day, um, the rest of it, and tomorrow, too. Love you guys. Bye. See you guys.